So before we get into it, let me just say this. Kendra G's comment section alone is hilarious. It's Amber J. Lee. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's learn, pretty girls. And also, while you're here, just follow my Instagram as I also post updates. So before we get into it, please, let's watch the video and listen carefully because ciao. This is Quinesha, 31, Aquarius, Miami, a physician, no kids. What kind of man are you looking for? Wait seven seconds. So I want a man that puts God first above all, and he's always kind of been like that. And that's kind of his main goal in life. Secondly, working and, and his passion and whatever anointing God put in his heart is his second focus in life. And this is someone that you know, he has always been pretty serious about working, but now God finally put into his heart that it's his time to start a family. No kids, never been married. <laughs> um, salary is very important to me, um, but it's no kids and, and successful. <laughs> okay, successful. I feel like, how much money does he, oh, what's the least amount of money? So I just, before I really get into my uh, analysis of it, the first comment that I thought was funny, it was by a woman and she said, and she's looking for him on IG. Yes, I feel like those type of guys, well, I actually dated a guy like that. I dated an anesthesiologist, a travel agent studiologist, making $353,000 a year. And those type of men, they are surrounded by women that want him. They're not looking for it online. They're not looking for it online. Very few are, like probably 1.2% of men, but most of them are already surrounded by the type of woman that they want. Those men can literally go on the street and grab anybody, you know? So they really aren't looking for them online. They're definitely not looking on Kendra G's show. I promise you that. Ain't no multi-millionaire is sitting back saying, which woman on Kendra G's show I'm a bag, okay? They're just not doing it. The comment that I thought was really, really a good analysis by another woman, I like the way that she broke this down. She said, I think she's gonna find some difficulty. 350K plus a year, aren't hard to find depending on your circle. Keyword, depending on your circle. If you're Lala Anthony, that's not hard to find. If you're average everyday girl, that's hard to find, you know? Clearly it is in her circle, which it is not because she's on this show looking for it. And then she said canceling out the other men is going to beat her downfall, which it is because she needs to sit there and stack with somebody who's going to make that money in the future. She can't just walk in on them already making that money because now sometimes saying if they're in that circle, they already got their chick that they've been down with that they're going to rock out with. She said that she's around other residents who's going to make the money that she's with making. Why is she not with them or trying to bag them or snatch them up? So when they start making that money, you got first dibs. If you want a man like this so bad, they're literally all around you. Why are you on Kendra G's show looking for it? It, it was just ass backwards. And, and that's what the girl said. You need to come up with a bomb plan. And it starts with your inner circle because I doubt you're going to meet them. You have a higher chance of meeting that man in your circle, sis, than on the Kendra G show. Because Kendra G show, as we have all seen, are full of coons, cowards, weirdos, and everything under the sun that should not be dating, who has clearly mental health issues. Let's not lie. You can watch five Kendra G's videos of men and women and you'd be like, yo, I'm ready to check in the psych ward myself. For like, conversations like this, I, it hurts me the most when a black woman gets online and she starts saying that half a billion I want a millionaire stuff like that I get it but I feel like a lot of us women we suffer from this and we think that these that this is just so obtainable easily because we see women on Instagram get it and I have to I want you to understand that the it's more women in the world than men it's more women in the dating field than men it's more single women than men if you have ever been to like single dating events is more single women than men there every you ever been to clubs it's always more women there than men there are more single women women than men across the world those type of men are in high demand extremely high demand so not saying she can't land it it's just the odds are in literally nobody's favor so she's better off grabbing somebody from her circle and y'all keep saying you can get this not one person from kinder G's show has landed a millionaire not one person because they always say when you land that man come back not one person has been back and why do you think that is because every single person on that show has a 1.2 percent chance bagging a man in that caliber 1.2 percent meaning 98 percent plus of you failing it's just a reality of life don't forget to like come subscribe let me know what you think